She's a professional basketball player, an NBL1 and an NCAA Pac-12 champion. She's Morgan Yeager, and this is Bear Soul. <laughs> Thanks so much for having us today. We're going to go through this insane sneaker collection. <laughs> How'd you first start off? What were your first few pair of shoes? Um, I think I first started like really getting the shoes. Like I probably would have been like maybe like 11, 12. My first pair of Kobe's were probably when it like all just started. And it was the, it was these fours. It was um, these fours I got. I still have them. <laughs> they don't fit me anymore, but like they were like my first shoe that I kind of like got and I was like oh okay this is like starting the snowball effect so yeah they were like these are some of my old Kobe's that I that I have that they just like kept going and going and then it just like yeah snowballed. Definitely man you got a lot of old Kobe's got a lot of new Kobe's uh -huh. as well is that your go-to shoe to play in at the moment? Absolutely yeah definitely Kobe's are my favorite shoe to play in um probably like the Kobe 5's or the Kobe 6's are my favorite but lately I've been playing in the uh, tens a bit too, and there's, I don't know, all of them are good. So, if you had to yeah. pick one favorite model, which would it be? For feel on the court, the Kobe Five. For look, probably either the Kobe Six or the Kobe Eights. Definitely, but you got a few other pair as well. Got a few KDs down here. Got some of the newer Nikes. You've been experimenting a little bit with some other models. Yeah, actually, I just got these not long ago. Um, I got a, a voucher for Foot Locker from my NBL One. Um, from like just winning this NBL one thing, and I got the um, the 15s, the KD 15s, and they're amazing. Like they, I put them on straight away, and I played like the day I got them, and they were amazing. They're so good. So I love those ones. Oh, I wear these ones a lot. The old Kyrie threes. These were the PK 80 ones we got in the PK 80 tournament. So they're good. I wear those a lot. But yeah, those ones are my newest pair that I've got. So. You got a few of the muted colorways, but obviously the KD is really loud. Do you prefer like mm -hmm. a vibrant, colorful shoe on court? I like everything, to be honest. Like I like an all white look. I like an all black look. I like colorful. I, it's kind of like what I'm feeling on the day. Um, and also kind of like what uniform we're wearing, like whether in black or like yellow, whatever. Um, but yeah, I like it all. <laughs> And then tell me about these ones down here. We've got two pairs of the Nike oh, self-lacing. Yeah. These look like a bit of a custom job. Yeah, they're a custom job. Uh, one of my guys back in uh, Oregon did them. Uh, my favorite like movie is Batman Dark Knight. So I got him to do like the Batman Joker um, colorway. Yeah, these ones are sick. Um, these ones we got, I got these from Oreg at Oregon. And then we also got the, the mag ones. I didn't really want to touch the colorways on these ones because these ones are clean. But um, yeah, they're cool. And then we talked about Kobe's obviously. I know that yeah. you're a massive Kobe fan. You actually got the chance to meet him in college. What was that like? It was crazy. It was honestly like, I remember we were playing USC at USC and we were warming up and um, I like turned and I was like, yo, is that Kobe? And like ev all of us were like, what? he was like sitting courtside with Gigi. And it was crazy, like, and then he came into the locker room after and like just chatted with us, hung out with us. We got photos, like he signed our shoes and stuff. Like, it was crazy. And it was like, yeah, we got to see him a couple of times. Like. And then what have you been rocking off court at the moment? I know you're a big fan of George. You've got a pretty intense yeah. collection here. Yeah. Um, I wear a lot of, like, if I'm like going out somewhere nice, like I might wear, these ones are really clean. I love those. They're probably one of my favorite colorways, but. I love my Travis Scott's, those ones are tough. You obviously went to Oregon University, mm. probably the best Nike one there is. What was that like getting all the shoes and the gear and that stuff? It was it was cool. Um, like we get to we got to like go to the Nike headquarters in Beaverton a couple times and like there's different buildings for like different things. Like there's like a Michael Jordan building, there's like a Serena Williams building, there's like a Coach K building for like Duke and stuff like that. There's like a big like Tiger Woods building, like there's like so many of them. Um, and it's just like all set up like a college campus and like we just got to tour around a little bit pretty cool and just having that like literally direct connection with like Phil Knight and stuff and then Did you get to meet Phil at all? He was at a couple of our games like we got to meet him and stuff The one I was probably even more excited to meet was Tinker Hatfield. He does all the Jordans so um, Yeah, I got to meet him. He's so cool. That's hectic, man. <laughs> yeah, he's like yeah, he's dope So what were your favorite models to wear when you're at Oregon? Um, oh, definitely these ones. The the Katie, these are the 12s, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, definitely these incredible. ones. These were so comfortable. 
Um, easily the best best shoe we got. Got the duck on the back there. Yeah, the little duck. Um, these ones are cool. Uh, we also got these ones for the pink, the K out, like the pink game, the breast cancer game. These ones were probably my favorite shoe I, ever, I got in terms of like look and performance. Like yeah. these ones were amazing. They like got the, this velvet on the inside. Yeah, they're crazy. Yeah, they're probably my favorite shoe I got from them, so. I have a pair of these LeBron ones, uh, which are cool, but they're so high off the ground. Like I, I roll my ankle in them, but um, they they look good. So. And then obviously talking about really cool Oregon gear, uh -huh. it doesn't get cooler than these ones right here. Tell us the yeah. story about how you got these. So these ones, we these ones were the first Jordans we got. Um, like we got these for the Pac-12 tournament my junior year. We'd see like all all the football team get Jordans, the men's basketball team get Jordans. And we were like, yo, like we want Jordans, like, like, and we found out, we heard rumors like oh, they're gonna make a pair for us. And we were like, oh, like I wonder what they're gonna be like. And then we got to see them. And they're honestly probably like these ones are probably the cleanest pair I've like seen Oregon make. Like these are crazy. Like just like the electric green and the O. So we had got those ones for my junior year in the Pac-12 tournament. And then unfortunately. These ones were meant to be worn the year COVID hit. Yeah. So we um, we won the tournament, the Pac-12 tournament, and then um, we were about to like get ready to go. Um, it was where, wherever for the NCAA tournament and then COVID hit. And then unfortunately, like we didn't get to do it and we were on track to win it that year. Like it was sad, but um, so I had to kind of like finish up my school and graduate and I came home. I didn't take my fifth or sixth year because I was like, oh, like COVID, it just got a bit messy and stuff. So I decided to come home. Um, but then I, so we, I didn't get these. And then like one day, a couple months, like after I was home for a little while, like my dad like text me. He was like, did you like expect a package from like, Oregon? I was like, no. And he sent me a photo and I was like, what the hell? Like, and yeah, these rocked up in the, in the mail with this like little letter from my coach and it's like it was cool like they have like the whole like 52 of 120 made that's crazy on it and like yeah it was crazy it was it was cool like because it kind of like the end of the season kind of ended on a bit of a sad note yeah. and then they also sent me my ring from the pac 12. yeah see you. and then there's a really cool pair over here actually you were telling us about another pair of customs like those yeah what's the story with these ones so these ones um so my best friend in college um, got me these painted by the same guy, um, JD, who did um, those. Sick. Um, so on one side it has like a picture of me like when I got home um, with my with the Adelaide Lightning and like Aussie colours and then some Oregon colours on this side. Um, yeah, it was like my graduation present from my best friend in um, Oregon. So it was pretty cool. These like rocked up in the mail as well. <laughs> so oh, yeah, it was, yeah, it was super cool yeah again like i i don't think i'll wear them but just to, like have oh, a memory of it's dope and then obviously your collection is jaw dropping is there a pair you don't have that you want what's your grail i <laughs> um i really i'm like saving to like buy it because i think i'd want to wear it for like something like super special like maybe like my wedding or something but the uh Jordan 4's um, off-white sales. Oh, yeah. They're crazy. Like, they're so nice. So Best of luck with the upcoming Thank you. Seasons. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you.